So, how has the camp been going? Uh, camp's been going really well. We um, we have a two session camp. We've got mm -hmm. uh, from eight thirty to eleven thirty. We have a group of fourth graders through eighth graders. We've got about twenty two of those, mm -hmm. uh, twenty two uh, campers, and those have been going really well. A lot of kids that you know have already been playing volleyball, and this is kind of just an extension of that. Mm -hmm. um, in the afternoon, we have our incoming freshmen plus mm -hmm. some high school age kids mm -hmm. that um, you know we're, we're doing the same type of skills. It's, you know, similar drills, um, but we're doing a little more advanced level than what we're doing in the morning. Right. How has uh, the boys volleyball program, uh, you know, I guess, it's, you know, since it got started, I think it's evolved pretty well and it's picked up in popularity, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, our camp sizes get bigger and bigger each year. You know, so a few years back, we were only having a one three hour session and because uh -huh. we'd have about maybe 20 kids total this year, we've got about 35 kids yeah. uh, between the two camps. And so we divide them up into two sessions. That way we get plenty of coaching. Mm -hmm. we, we, we like the ratio to be, you know, mm -hmm. You know, one coach for every four or five campers, mm -hmm. and uh, the nice thing is, is as it's grown, um, a lot of the former players have come back and are now camp counselors. You know, yeah. uh, with the high school age camp, we got two kid, two guys that have mm -hmm. played at really high levels. Eric Fitter uh -huh. and John Pronger were part of our first um, uh -huh. team that went to state back in 2011. Mm -hmm. Eric's playing professionally over in Europe now. Mm -hmm. um, John is played volleyball at Quincy he was an assistant coach last year at McKendry and uh, he plays at a really high level in the summer with the yeah. club team so now uh, I mean like I guess at least in the Midwest boys volleyball has really picked up in popularity and uh, how much is it maybe you know recent success in the Olympics or just uh, maybe a new uh, you know something a new outlet for, for Boys. Yeah, I, I think it, it, that's what's great about it. It's an Olympic year, and so boys' men's volleyball gets put on the map a little bit. Mm -hmm. You get to see it on TV. I saw a game, you know, in the middle of the afternoon on a Sunday on, on regular NBC, and for that uh -huh. to be showcased like that was great. Yeah. Um, there's a St. Louis kid, Murphy Troy, who went to St. Louis University High School uh -huh. that is on the Olympic team. In 2008, there was a kid uh, who went to Vianney, Scott Zizinski, that was on the Olympic team. So we're seeing it grow and grow. Um, it's great to see the growth on the mm -hmm. Illinois side. I know. Yeah. Um, you know, McKendry recently added a program a few years back, and they've really gone a long way. Um, I know it's been established, in, you know, on the men's level, at least in you know NCA level, for quite some time. And I'm sure ESPN says, you know, ESPN News has shown some matches. Yeah, for to be growing in the Midwest, I think it's that's a good that's a good sign. Yeah, it's in the NCA tournament. Um, the last three years, I think uh, Midwest team has won it, whether it be uh, Loyola from Chicago won it for two years in a row, uh, and then this past May. Uh, Ohio State won mm -hmm. two years ago. Eric Fitter was playing for Lutus University and serving for a championship point against Loyola. Mm -hmm. It was one of the best matches you know I'd ever seen. And so mm -hmm. to have two Midwest schools, two schools from Chicago area like Lewis and Loyola playing for the national championship, mm -hmm. it, it's a good sign. And that's at the uh, Division uh, One. That's level Division two. One. Yeah, so Division One and Two play together. Uh -huh. um, it's the same championship, and so it's it's a top level for uh, men's volleyball. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure the program here is uh, has a very bright future as well. Yeah, I, I hope so. You know, we're we're working hard. We're trying to do all the things like add a middle school program, mm -hmm. uh, more club volleyball involved, mm -hmm. um, and just get more kids involved at the high school level. You mm -hmm. know, we're we're hoping to have a freshman team uh, this year, which we were able to have a couple years back. Mm -hmm. it, we'd like to start to see more and more consistent numbers of uh, freshmen coming here one to play.